And this is the message today to Miami, Florida, is don't go to hell. You have an opportunity to come to the Lord, to be set free, to find deliverance for your life. God is offering salvation to all people, but you must be willing to repent. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him, that they should not perish, but that they should have everlasting life. This is a whosoever gospel. Salvation is offered to whosoever is willing to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Whosoever is willing to humble themselves. Whosoever is willing to be broken because of their sin and godly sorrow, knowing that you have sinned against a holy God. The Bible says that it's godly sorrow that worketh repentance, my friends. We must be convicted over our sins. We must be broken with godly sorrow, knowing that we have rebelled and broken God's law. We must come to the mercy seat of God before it's too late. Yes, ma'am. You're more than welcome to preach the word of God. Ma'am, can I can I can I just bring this argument up? It's a Miami Beach ordinance. You're more than willing to preach the word of God out here in the corner. Do what you need to do. I, I applaud you. You just cannot do it with the speaker. So the people can blast their music on their speakers, no, but I can't. No, sir. We stop that too. They're not supposed to have those at all. We stop those, and we do across the board for everybody. When they have those speakers and they're playing loud music, we stop them. Okay. So there's an ordinance. You're saying that. Okay, thank you. I'm going to check it out. All right, thank, you. It out. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there is a day of judgment coming. Sir, there is a day of judgment coming. And my friend, God is offering salvation through His Son, Jesus. God sent his son Jesus into the world not to condemn the world sir but that the world should be saved come to the Lord sir repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ while you are still alive for judgment is coming my friends young men you are young but my friends young people die old people die Rich people die. Death is no respecter of persons, my friend. Death comes to all of us. Is your heart right with the Lord? Because if you die without salvation, my friends, you're going to go to hell. This is the judgment for all those who reject the salvation of God. It's hell fire, my friends. It's hell. And today, my friends, you don't have to go to hell. Ma'am, you don't have to go to hell. You can come to the Lord and God is pleading with you today. Please come to Jesus. Get right with the Lord, sir. You don't have to be afraid of the coronavirus. You can come to the Lord and receive His salvation. Be afraid to stand before God living in your rebellion, sir, because you're going to be judged for your sins. And I'm pleading with you today to come to the Lord. For Jesus said so likewise. If you do not repent, you're going to go to hell. You're going to perish. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ for judgment is coming. Come to the Lord, sir. Judgment is coming. That day of death is coming for you. It's coming for all of us. We can't run from that day, my friends. We can't skip out on that day of court. You might be able to skip out of court in the cities of your town, but you cannot skip out on that day of judgment. It's appointed once for man to die, and then after that, the judgment. My friends, you have an appointment with God. Sir, you have an appointment with God.
time to get right with the Lord, sir. You're not promised another day. Please get right with God. Judgment day is coming. For God has appointed a day of judgment where He is going to judge the entire world in righteousness through His Son, Jesus. God is going to call each and every person's life into account at the judgment. And my friends, there will be no sinners that will stand in the judgment. You must come to the Lord and receive forgiveness. You must repent, sir. The Bible says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? It says, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. God is calling all sinners today to repent because He has appointed a day of judgment where He is going to judge your soul, my friends, in righteousness.